welcome back to my channel so for this week's video I'm gonna be filming a very simple and chill autumn makeup and outfit video for you guys today I'm super excited because these are the type of videos that I used to watch tremendously growing up like Bethany Moda and all of that type of stuff for the makeup today everything is going to be like fall inspired so yeah with that being said let's go ahead and dive right into today's video I'm gonna go ahead and first just put my hair up only because it tends to be in my way a lot when I'm doing my makeup. So I'm just gonna get that kind of out of the way. If you guys have normally seen my makeup videos, I tend to always just stick with one simple shade and it typically always just tends to be brown. I do want to kind of, you know, incorporate some other shades today. So it's gonna be still pretty simple, you know, along the lines of still with some browns, but hopefully throwing in like some glitter or something. I love skincare. <laughs> so, so I did actually apply one product already and it was to the cheekbones right here. This is the Tower 28 Super Dew in the color No Shade. I love this thing. It just works super, super pretty and it just has like this really pretty natural dewy finish which i love on the skin so yeah that's what i applied onto my cheeks on top of that i'm actually gonna be taking the glossier future dew right here it just leaves you with a beautiful dewy finish during the winter time my whoa so during the winter time my skin tends to still be pretty dry Ooh. <laughs> I like to put this underneath my moisturizer first um, just because I feel like it really just kind of like locks it in together really well. So for moisturizer, I'm going to be just taking the Milk Vegan Moisturizer and let me tell you guys, if you watched any of my previous makeup videos at all, you guys know how much I was obsessed with this thing right here. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Although as much as I still love this product, it tended to break me out quite a bit. I was trying to find a new product you know that like really just hydrated my skin and I think I found something that just freaking works so good on the skin so if you have dry skin like I do I definitely recommend this moisturizer this is my favorite moisturizer right now And then the last thing I take to prep the skin is just gonna be a facial oil. This is just by the brand called Pharmacy. It just looks like this. And I take about like maybe one droplet on each side. Okay, so now that the skin is prepped, we're gonna go ahead and move on to foundation. Before, I used to actually like do my eyebrows first, but I've been recently kind of just going back and forth and whatever I'm in the mood for that day, I end up just kind of doing. For foundation today, I am gonna be using the Giorgio Armani foundation. I am using this in the shade 5.25. <laughs> I've been actually wanting to try the new Morphe 2. If you guys tried it, let me know. It's like their tinted like moisturizer. I believe or like some type of tint. I heard it works really really well. Oh shoot. What is it called? I forgot about my primer <laughs> So for primer today, I'm gonna be going ahead and just taking the milk hydro grip primer right here Now we're gonna be going ahead and moving on to our liquid foundation Now moving on to concealer. So here are my two go-to concealers. They are both from Glossier and this is in the shade six and seven. But yeah, I'm honestly so ready to watch spooky movies and I don't know, just eat popcorn. And do you guys like candy corn? <laughs> I know some people like it, some people don't. I love candy corn. <laughs> so I'm excited just to watch like Hocus Pocus Halloween Town, the classics, you know? To set that, this is just the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder in the shade number two. Definitely would say my favorite seasons are like either summer or fall, just because like for fall, like you still get the sunshine, you know? When the sun is out, I am the happiest girl. So, cause it's like right in the middle. It's like not too hot, but yet still pretty like, you know, in the middle. To also kind of set the whole face, I'm gonna be taking the same powder right here and just taking it on my foundation brush and lightly just Applying that to the skin. Okay, so to warm up the face, I'm gonna be going ahead and taking one of my favorite bronzers. This is by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is in the shade number three, Tan. It's so beautiful and like so buildable, which I love. So I'm just gonna go in ahead and taking a little bit of that. I know sometimes I can go in with a heavy hand, so I kind of have to remember to like blend that out. Oh, I always get scared. 
putting it right here only because I feel like sometimes do it incorrectly. So for blush, I have been really loving the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. It just looks like this. I just really, really love these blushes. So the shade I'm going to be using today is going to be Twilight right here and also a little bit of Gravity. And then I'm also going to be taking a little bit of that onto my nose. So now lastly for the face, I'm just going to be applying some highlight. This is by Melt Cosmetics in the shade Gold Aura. It has this very natural glow, but it's so pigmented. Let me tell you guys that. <laughs> so I'm going to be applying a little bit of that right here. And then I'm bringing that up also to my brow bone as well right here. And then I'm also going to be applying a little bit of that on to the high points of my face. Okay, so that is the finished face makeup. Now we're moving on to just lastly doing our eyes. So for this particular look, I'm going to be going ahead and just taking an eyeshadow palette that has a lot of neutrals. Um, the one in particular I'm using today is this one right here. It's by Tati Beauty. And I just really love the whole color range of this. The first shade I'm actually going to be taking is this one right here. I'm going to be taking that with my finger right here and just applying that shade all over my lid. And then the next shade I'm going to be taking is this one right here. It's just like a very matte kind of light brown. And I'm going to be focusing that color all along my outer corner. Next, I'm going to be taking this darker brown color right here. Whoa, that's dark. Okay, not too shabby. Next, what I'm probably going to do is add a little bit of orange, a little bit of a tint. Go ahead and take a little bit of the shade orangey. Holy guacamole. That looks pigmented. One thing I'm going to be adding to this look is I'm going to be going ahead and taking this black shade right here and I'm going to be putting this along my lash line and just kind of like lightly smoking it out. Don't look too closely at the eyeshadow because it may look not blended. <laughs> so... This is just how the eye makeup ended up coming out. It's really pretty. I definitely like an eye makeup look like I would definitely wear during like the fall time. And then next we're moving on to eyebrows and I'm just gonna be taking the Glossier Boy Brow. So for mascara today, I'm going to be taking my go-to mascaras. These are the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara and then also the Maybelline Great Lots of Lashes Mascara. So I put my mascara on and then for lips today, I'm kind of going back and forth in between two shades. The first one being by a brand called Sunny Face and it's just a really pretty neutral matte brown color right here or going for a more nude. I think I'm going to maybe mix the two if anything. I'm going to take this one is by NYX and this is in the color London. I really, really like this color. It's like literally my natural lip color. So here's this color right here. It's so pretty and natural. Okay, so here is how this lipstick looks with it or this. This is not really a lipstick. They call it a soft matte lip cream. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of this shade right here. I think I always feel weird wearing lipstick only because I never really wear it. This lip combination, hold on, wait, did I just, this lip color combination is so pretty. Um, If I didn't mention it yet, this is in the shade called Melty. Okay, so yeah, that is the finished completed makeup. Now we're going to move on to my hair. I really didn't feel like like straightening or curling my hair, um, so I'm probably just going to be wearing my natural hair today. I don't really know what to do with my hair today. Should I just put it up in a bun? So we could probably do a low bun. Kind of curious to see how it might look. I don't know if I'm in the mood for this look though. Okay, option one. Not too shabby, you know. Or what I could possibly do is half up, half down look. Ow! So here's this next hairstyle. What if I pull? Oh my gosh, I don't know. So, actually scratch that. I think I'm gonna go for a braid today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my little elastic band right here. And then all I'm gonna do is just kind of make my braid look a little bit like more thicker and messy. All right, so I ended up just doing a braid for my hair. 
now for the outfit i came up with this really simple but yet super cozy and just really relaxed outfit so just to give you guys a little bit of a run through of what i am wearing today so for the top and for the jeans they are actually thrifted um i will link down below a similar pair of jeans that i found they're pretty similar i don't know exactly how the fit of the jeans are like if they're exactly high waisted and all of that i'm not exactly sure but the top as well is thrifted i just has like these super little pretty flowers on it i believe i got the top from savers and it's, and then the jeans i got at goodwill for shoes today i am just wearing my nike air forces with some nike socks <laughs> for jewelry wise today i am just wearing my little cross necklace right here that i always wear i got this from target these beautiful little butterfly earrings that a dear friend of my sister actually makes and they're just so 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 pretty and they're like super really comfortable and so lightweight that was my outfit for the day today super simple really comfy and just relaxing <laughs> so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me hair makeup and outfit for autumn and if you guys did enjoy this week's video do not forget to give it a big schniggy and as always guys be your own kind of beautiful and spread peace love and positivity and i will see you guys as beautiful faces next week bye Ooh.